two years since we got Mac. It's definitely worth celebrating. We are in an old friend senior dog sanctuary in Mount Juliet. We take in senior dogs only, 10 and up. When they get here, it's day one. From there on out, they get to live a, a happy life here. When we got Mac, he was blind. He had glaucoma. What happens in dogs with a glaucoma is basically there's a pressure buildup. The eyes start to really protrude from the face, and it's very, very painful. When that started to happen, we decided to go ahead and, and get him taken out. You do need to rest a little bit after surgery, and he was like, what's rest? I think he might have had more energy afterwards because no pain, so he's like, this is awesome. All right, let's go. <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't know that he was blind just by watching him. You wouldn't know it. We know that it came to us maybe a little less than a senior, like right on the cusp of it, maybe at about six or seven. You couldn't tell him that, though. He's pretty sure that he's like six months old. He's um, always been sweet and always been adventurous. A lot of times at night when we're putting him to bed, everyone will be laying down on their beds, and Mac will stay up, and he'll kind of watch over his friends, make sure that it, everyone's okay. And then he'll finally go to sleep, and it's so funny that he does this because he doesn't know that he can't watch them, but he uses his other senses to make sure everybody's okay, everybody's calm, and then he'll lay down and go to bed. We just kind of decided to, to celebrate that we've had him for so long. We had to try to figure out what we're going to do and who who would be his party guest, who who gets along with Mac well and all his bumping around. So we made a, a, a list of all, all of his friends. Went to a local bakery. They were gracious enough to not only gift us a cake for him, they tinted it our colors, and they also threw in two dozen cupcakes to, to share with all of his friends at his party. So we're pretty excited to see how they react to the cake. The more streamers, the better. We got some balloons. We happened to find a happy anniversary banner. And we got some uh, bandanas, little party games, kind of like a, a pin the tail on the donkey. It's uh, like a pin the badge on Chase from Paw Patrol. So it's little puppy themes and everything. Pretty excited to see what ends up happening with it all. We found him a tuxedo. We thought we'd dress him, dress him to the nines, so we got him a little tuxedo to put on. He kind of struts when he's got stuff on. Yeah, I think he'll have a lot of fun. Way to go, Mac. Mac, you're cheating. I think he knew he had a special day. It was all about him. He he acted like he did, especially when, when they put the little tuxedo on him. He knew, okay, he knew something was getting ready to happen. Mac definitely likes being the center of attention. He's happy to be there for anyone who wants to, to pet him and stuff. My wish for Mac is that he finds happiness and joy and all kind of friends out there. Just don't get a tummy ache from all that cake you ate. <laughs> I almost want to call him like our heart and soul. It's like when you come to the gardens, we always want to show off Mac. Between how soft his fur is, between his cute little mohawk, his perseverance, his, his adventurousness. He is proof of what we're trying to show the world. This is what an old dog is like. It's not the end of their life, it's just the next chapter. 